Hi. Okay, we've got a question today from Monique, and she writes in, how do you keep your kids in bed at night after they've been tucked in? Hobby and I love to have a little quiet time in the evenings, but I've never been able to get the kids to stay in their beds at bedtime. They are always messing around, being noisy, sneaking around, coming back downstairs for all manner of things, and in general won't leave us alone. We've tried different rewards, punishments, practicing lectures, and nothing has worked. Is this just a pipe dream? Well, Monique, I understand. I think every mom has dealt with this at, at some time. Um, and she has a lot of kids. She has seven kids. Okay, well, that's how many I have, so I understand this. Um, first, you've got to be consistent. Um, if you have a reward system at the end of the day, that's cool, but kids know, okay, I've already had my reward, so now I can fool around at bedtime because, you know, nothing's transferring over. Let it transfer over to the next day. So the reward that they get or the points they get or the star, whatever your method of child behavior management is, they get that at the end of the day, but their behavior the night before also transfers over to their point system for the next day. So that's one method, but also I want to let you know that having a lot of siblings is a blessing for a child, and the talking and the playing around, don't be too hard on them because the cool thing is is they're making memories, and it's, it's it can bother you. <laughs> I understand if they're getting out of bed. So set parameters about getting out of bed. That It only has to be for an emergency and establish that routine there. But also lighten up a little bit on the noise and the talking because they are developing and creating some wonderful memories. Um, one time my two oldest daughters who are now, you know, in high school, I can't believe it. But I remember they were laughing and joking there about um, five and six at the time. And I called my sister. I said, I'm so mad. I've told them ten times to be quiet and they won't do this. They keep on joking around. And my sister, in her infinite wisdom, said, oh, how beautiful. They're making memories. So I know it can be bothersome, but really this chapter of life is so short. So let them have a little leniency about talking and, and you know, laughing in bed, whatever. But do set those parameters about getting out of bed and creating a disturbance. As always, it's moms maintaining a balance. So I want to hear some more comments. If you can help Monique with this situation, please leave a comment below. I know she would love to hear about it. We're all in this together, so let's support one another. So thanks a lot for writing in.